numbers. Five. Twenty. Sixteen. Thirty-two. Fifty. Twelve. Phone numbers. Seven nine one, four six three. Eight five nine, six double two. Five o、oh、three, nine seven one. O one o, double three, one, four six, five eight, nine three. Nine four. What's her surname? Hopkins. What's her first name? Mary. Where's she from? England. What's her job? She's a journalist. What's her address? Thirty-five North Street, Bristol. What's her phone number? O two seven two, four seven eight, double two o nine. How old is she? Twenty-three. Is she married? No, she isn't. This is a photo of Martin, his wife, and his children. His wife's name is Jennifer. She's a dentist. His daughter's name is Alison. She's twenty-three, and she's a hairdresser. His son's name is Andy. He's and she's a hairdresser. His son's name is Andy. He's nineteen, and he's a student. Alison's boyfriend is a travel agent. His name is Joe. A, it's big. B, it's small. C, she's old. D, she's young. E. They're expensive. F. They're cheap. G. It's horrible. H. It's lovely. I. It's easy. J. It's difficult. K. They're old. L. They're new. M. They're hot. N. They're cold. O, it's right. P, it's wrong. Dear David, how are you? I'm fine. I'm in London at the International School of English. I'm in class three with eight other students. They're all from different countries: Spain, France, Japan, Argentina, Switzerland, and Thailand. Our teacher's name is Peter Briscoe. He's very nice. He's funny, and he's a very good teacher. My new address is at the top of the letter. I'm with an English family, the Browns. Mister and Miss Brown have three children.、Uh, Thomas is fourteen, Catherine is twelve, and Andrew is seven. They're all very funny, but it isn't easy to understand them. London is very big and very interesting. The weather is good, cold but sunny, and the parks are beautiful. Parks are beautiful. Hyde Park, Green Park, and St James's Park are all in the centre. It isn't easy to use the underground, but I understand it now. It's very expensive. English food is okay, but the fee is horrible. Write to me soon. Love, Paula. P.S. Is my English okay? One. Hello, my name is Paula. Hello, Paula. I'm Kurt. Where are you from? I'm from Switzerland. And you? Where are you from? I'm from Rome. Ah, I'm from Zurich. Zurich is very beautiful. Yes, it is. Two. A ticket to Green Park, please. Two pounds fifty.、Uh, one, two, and fifty p. Thank you. Here's your ticket. Thanks. 
three. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Peter. Hello. How are you today? Fine. Oh, I'm doing fine. How are you, Paula? I'm fine, thank you, Peter. And you? Very well. Now, the lesson today is going to be about... Four. Yes? A coffee... Black or white? Sorry? Black or white? Milk? Ah, uh, black, please. No milk. 60p, please. Thanks. Ah, it's horrible. English got very bad. Five. Is she good, Paula? Pardon? A teacher at the School of English. Ah, uh, yes. Peter. Is he okay? Yes. He's very nice. He's funny. <laughs> What's your dad got, Paula? Uh, pardon? I... Your dad. What's his job? My dad? Say Father Thomas, not Dad. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, what's your father's job, Paola? Now I understand. Uh, my father's job, yes. Um, he's a doctor, yes. Oh, right. Sandwiches. A ham sandwich. One pound fifty. A cheese sandwich. One pound thirty. A tuna sandwich. One pound seventy. A chicken sandwich. Two pounds. A piece of pizza. 90p. A hamburger. Two pounds fifty. An ice cream. Eighty pence. A cup of tea. A cup of coffee. A Coke. An orange juice. A mineral water. How much is tea? 50p. How much is a cup of coffee? 70p. How much is a Coke? 60p. How much is an orange juice? 60p. How much is a mineral water? 80p. Hello. Hello. Can I have a ham sandwich, please? Here you are. Anything else? No, thanks. One pound fifty, please. Thanks. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Can I have a cheese sandwich, please? Anything to drink? Yes. A cup of tea, please. Okay. Here you are. How much is that? One pound eighty, please. Thanks. Good morning. Morning. Can I have a hamburger and a cup? Sister Mary comes from Ireland. She is a nun, and she lives and works in a girls' school in Cork. She teaches French and Spanish. She likes her job, and she loves the green countryside of Ireland. She goes walking in her free time. Hans Hoser is a ski instructor. He is Swiss and lives in Villars, a village in the mountains. In summer, he works in a sports shop, and in winter, he teaches skiing. He speaks four languages, French, German, Italian, and English. He is married and has two sons. He plays football with them in his free time. Where does Sister Mary come from? Ireland. What does she do? She's a teacher. 
Does she speak French? Yes, she does. Does she speak German? No, she doesn't. A. Where does Hans come from? Switzerland. B. What does he do? He's a ski instructor. C. Does he speak French and German? Yes, he does. D. Does he speak Spanish? No, he doesn't. One. Georges comes from Paris. Two. Georges lives in London. Three. He works in the centre of Paris. Four. In his free time, he plays tennis. Five. Keiko comes from China. Six. She lives in Washington. Seven. She speaks French and German. Eight. And German. Eight. She's married to an American. Nine. Mark comes from England. Ten. He works in Liverpool. Eleven. He speaks Italian. Twelve. In his free time, he goes walking. One. She likes her job. Two. She loves walking. Three. She is married. Four. Does he have three children? Five. Where does he go? Six. She watches the television. A. Good morning, sir. Can I see your ticket? Yes, of course. Here you are. Thank you. Maidstone next stop. Thank you. B. Good morning, boys and girls. Good, Good morning, morning, Mr. Garrett. Can I have your homework, please? It's, it's on, on your desk, desk Mr. Garrett. Mr. Garrett. Thank you. C. Goodbye, Frank. Have a good journey. Thank you very much. See you next Monday. Yes, of course. Goodbye. D. Excuse me. Is the seat free? Yes, it is. Thank you. It's cold this evening. It certainly is, and the sea is very black. E. Hello, darling. Are you tired? Yes, I am. And cold. Sit down and have a glass of wine. Mmm. Thank you. I'm hungry too. It's five o'clock. It's eight o'clock. It's half past five. It's half past eleven. It's quarter past five. It's quarter past two. It's quarter to six. It's quarter to nine. It's five past five. It's ten past five. It's twenty past five. It's twenty-five past five. It's twenty-five to six. It's twenty to six. It's ten to six. It's five to six. Excuse me. Can you tell me the time, please? On Fridays, I come home from the BBC at about two in the afternoon, and I just relax. On Friday evenings, I don't go out. But sometimes a friend comes for dinner. He or she brings the wine, and I cook the meal. I love cooking. We listen to music, or we just chat. On Saturday mornings, I get up at nine and I go shopping. Then in the evenings, I sometimes go to the theatre or the opera with a friend. I love opera. Then we eat in my favourite Chinese restaurant. On Sunday. <laughs> oh, on Sunday mornings I stay in bed late. I don't get up until eleven. Sometimes in the afternoon I visit my sister. She lives in the country and has two children. I like playing with my niece and nephew, but I leave early because I go to bed at eight on Sunday evenings. Do you go out on Friday afternoons? No, I don't. What do you do? I just relax. Do you stay at home on Friday evenings? Yes, I do. What do you do? I cook dinner for friends. One. What does he do on Sundays? 
two. I stay at home on Thursday evenings. Three. He lives here. Four. I eat a lot. Five. Where do you go on Saturday evenings? Six. She likes cars. Mr. and Mrs. Forrester have a son and a daughter. The son lives at home, and the daughter is a student at university. Mr. Forrester is a journalist. He works for the Times. He writes articles about restaurants. I love food, he says. Every spring the children go skiing. So my every spring the children go skiing. So my wife and I go to Paris on holiday. We stay in a hotel near the River Seine. We have breakfast in the hotel, but we have lunch in a restaurant. French food is delicious. We walk a lot, but sometimes we go by taxi. After four days, we don't want to go home and go back to work. We have long, cold winters and short, hot summers. In summer, I go sailing and I play baseball, but in winter, I play ice hockey and go ice skating. We have a holiday home near a lake, so I go fishing a lot too. My favorite season is autumn or fall, as we say in North America. I love the colors of the trees: red, gold, orange, yellow, brown. People think it's always warm and sunny in Portugal, but January and February are often cold, wet, and gray. I don't like winter. I meet friends in restaurants and bars, and we chat. Sometimes we go to a Brazilian bar. I love Brazilian music. But then suddenly it's summer, and at weekends we drive to the beach, sunbathe, and go windsurfing. I love summer. I work for Pentax cameras in the export department. I don't have a lot of free time, but I have one special hobby: taking photographs, of course. I like taking photographs of flowers, especially in spring. Sometimes, after work. I relax in a bar near my office with friends. My friend Shigeru likes singing pop song bar. This has a special name, karaoke. I don't sing. I'm too shy. I just watch him. One. Hello, everybody. This is my friend Jane from England. Hello. Hi. Hello, Jane. Hello. Please to meet you.、Uh, sit down here, Jane. Thanks. Do you like this music, Jane? Is it American? <laughs> no, it's Brazilian jazz. Come and have a drink, Jane. Two. Mrs. Jones, how do you do? How do you do? Please. You're from our office in London, aren't you? Yes, that's right. Welcome to Tokyo. Do you like our headquarters here? Yes. It's very big. How many people work here? About six thousand people. Do you want to see? Three. What do you want to do today, Meg? Oh, I don't know.、Uh, do、uh, well. Do you like fishing? Yes. I sometimes go fishing in a river near my house in Scotland. Well, here it's different. This is a very big country. I go fishing on a lake. It's a hundred kilometers long. A hundred kilometers? Yeah. There are fish this big. Are you interested? Do you want to go? Okay. Right. You want a fishing line? A. Excuse me. Yes. Do you have a light? I'm sorry. I don't smoke. That's okay. B. I'm sorry I'm late. The traffic is bad today. Don't worry. Come and sit down. We're on page twenty-five. C. Can I open the window? It's very hot in here. Really, I'm quite cold. Okay, it doesn't help. D.、Uh, excuse me, can I help you?、Uh, can I have a film for camera? How many exposures?、Uh, pardon? How many exposures? Um, what does exposures mean? Is there a stereo? Yes, there is. Is there a clock? No, there isn't. Are there any books? Yes, there are. Are there any magazines? No, there aren't. Picture A. There are four pictures on the walls, and a mirror.
There are three people in the room, a man, a woman, and a girl. There's a lovely fire, and the cat is in front of the fire sleeping. There's a lamp near the window, and a clock on the wall near the mirror. There's a photo on the television, and there are some newspapers on the floor near the television. There's a glass of beer on the table in front of the man. The television isn't on. Picture B. There are two people in the room. There's a man on the sofa, and a woman next to him. The cat's in front of the fire. There are four pictures on the walls. There are two plants, one on the left of the fire, and one on the right. On the table in front of the man, there are some cups and some books. And on the table next to the sofa, there is a telephone. It's a modern kitchen, nice and clean, with a lot of cupboards. There's a washing machine, a fridge, and a cooker, but there isn't a dishwasher. There are some lovely pictures on the walls, but there aren't any photographs. There's a radio near the cooker, but there aren't any photographs. There's a radio near the cooker. There are some flowers, but there aren't any plants. On the table, there are some apples and oranges. Ah, and there are some cups and plates next to the sink. What's in my bag? Well,、uh, there's a newspaper,、uh, a French newspaper, and there's my dictionary. I have some pens,、uh, three, I think. There's a photo of my wife. And a photo of my children. I have my notebook for vocabulary, of course. I write words in that every day. I have some keys, and that's all. I don't have any stamps, and I don't have a bus ticket. Oh, and I have a letter from my bank manager. He wants my money. Anne Marie. I live in a house in the country in Provence. In the south of France, it's an old farmhouse, about five hundred years old, with very thick walls, so it's warm in winter and cool in summer. But it's difficult to look after because it's so old. There are three bedrooms, two quite big and one small, and they have wonderful views over the countryside. I have a garden where I grow flowers and vegetables. I live with my animals. I have two dogs and eight cats. Harry, where I live, things are big. I live in Texas. That's the second biggest state in the U.S. And I live with my wife and our four children. We have ten cars because we all like driving. Sometimes we drive a hundred and fifty kilometers to go to a restaurant. Our house is three years old and it's kind of big. There are fourteen or fifteen bedrooms, I don't know exactly, and outside two swimming pools, and a golf course, and gas for my plane to land on. Dave and Maggie. We have a small house in an area of Dublin called Donny Brook. Quite a small house. There's a living room and a kitchen downstairs. And two small bedrooms upstairs. It's big enough for us, my husband and me, and our son Thomas. The houses around here are about a hundred years old, and people are very friendly. People don't want to move away; they want to live near their family. So my parents are very close. And my mother lives next door. We have a small garden where Thomas plays, and I go out and have a chat with my mother. Thanos. I live in a flat on the fourth floor. I live alone. There is a kitchen where I cook and eat, a living room with a balcony, and two small bedrooms. I live in Athena. You say Athens in English, but not in the centre of town because there are too many cars. It's a nice area. 
The shops aren't too far, and the flat is comfortable. It's about five years old, which I like. I don't like old buildings. Hey. Excuse me, is there a chemist near here? Yes, it's over there. Thank B. Excuse me, is there a sports club near here? Yes, it's in Queen Street. Take the second street on the right. Thanks. C. C. Excuse me, is there a newsagent near here? Yes, there's one in Church Street next to the bank and there's one in Park Lane opposite the swimming pool. Is that one far? No, just two minutes, that's all. A. Can you speak Japanese? No, I can't. B. I can't hear you. The line's bad. C. Can you use a word processor? Yes, I can. D. I can't spell your name. E. Cats can see in the dark. F. She can type 50 words a minute. A. I can type, but I can't spell. B. He can sing and he can dance. C. Can you cook? Yes, I can. D. They can ski, but they can't swim. E. We can read and we can write. F. Can she drive? No, she can't. Well, there are a lot of things I can't do. I can't draw, and I can't drive a car. But I want to have lessons. I can... I can type, and I can use a word processor, because I have one at work, and I use it all the time. What about sports? Hmm. Well, I certainly can't ski, but I'm quite good at tennis. Yes, I can play tennis. Well, I usually win when I play with my friends. And I can swim, of course. And I can cook. I think I'm a very good, well, no, just good, a good cook. Now then, languages. I can speak French and German. I don't know any Italian at all. And I know about five words in Spanish. Adios, mañana, hera. No, I can't speak Spanish. Hera. No, I can't speak Spanish. And I can't play any musical instruments. Not the piano, the guitar, or anything. What day was it yesterday? It was Thursday. Where were you yesterday? I was at school. Were you at home yesterday? Yes, I was. The restaurant was cheap. But the food wasn't very good. Could you play the piano when you were six? No, I couldn't. Were you at Eve's party last Saturday? Yes, I was. Was it good? Oh, it was okay. Were there many people? Yes, there were. Was Tom there? No, he wasn't. And where were you? Oh, I couldn't go because I was at Adam's party. It was brilliant. This is flight information for today, 24th of June. British Airways flight BA 516 to Geneva at gate 14, last call. Flight BA 516 to Geneva, last call, gate 14. Scandinavian Airlines flight SK 832 to Frankfurt at gate 7, last call. Flight SK-832 to Frankfurt, last call, gate 7. Air France flight AF-472 to Amsterdam is delayed 30 minutes. Flight AF-47 to Amsterdam, delayed 30 minutes. Lufthansa flight LH-309 to Miami, now boarding at gate 32. Flight LH-309 to Miami, now boarding at gate 32. Virgin flight VS-86 to New York, 
now boarding at gate 20. Flight VS-876, now boarding at gate 20. Passengers are reminded to keep their luggage with them at all times. Thank you. A. Ah, BA-476 to Madrid. That's our flight. Was it gate 4 or 14? And I couldn't hear. I think it was 4. Shh, shh, shh. There it is again. 476 to Madrid, gate 4. It is gate 4. OK, come on. B. Can I see your passport, please? Uh, yes, of course. Here you are. Thank you very much. C. Can I have your ticket, please? Yes, of course. Here you are. Do you have just one suitcase? Uh, yes, this bag has hand luggage. That's fine. Smoking or non-smoking? Non-smoking, please. Oh, and uh, can I have a seat next to the window? Yes, yeah, OK. Here's your boarding pass. Have a nice flight. D. Can I have your tray, please, madam? Yes, uh, here you are. Thank you. And can you fasten your seatbelt? Land in ten minutes. Yes, of course. E. Excuse me, I think that's my suitcase. I'm sorry. My suitcase is red too. Is this yours? Yes, it is. Thank you very much. F. Hello. Are you married to a chairer from Switzerland? Yes, I am. Are you Mr. and Mrs. Barnes? Yes, we are. Welcome to England, Mary Therese. Was your flight good? Yes, it was, but uh, I don't like flying. Never oh, mind. You're here safely now. Come on, the car's outside. A. What? Gate 4 or 14? B. Can I see your passport, please? C. Smoking or non-smoking? D. Can I have your tray, please, madam? E. Excuse